The following program is from NET, the Public Television Network. Animation Land. As you can see, I've just started working on my script for Chapter 25 of Humans of Sentai Go Ranger. Oh, I just realized I gotta keep my promise to my East African ancestor. So why don't I make a video game to help spread the resistance against censoring animation? I think you have like a first-person shooter in which various animated characters fight against being censored. I guess I've been playing a lot of Wolfenstein 3D lately, so I might as well make an anti-censorship first-person shooter. All right, let's get started. Whatever is Quentin doing now? He's making a video game to help combat the practice of censoring animation. A first-person shooter seems like the best genre for a game like that. I bet people will love it. First-person shooters, huh? Well, I can remember back in the 80s when video games in general were suitable for all ages. Pac-Man was definitely no exception. I'm so glad the ESRB came into place in 1994, because some of the new video games at the time, like Mortal Kombat, were definitely meant to be for grown-ups. Hey, Gwen's game might be for teams like him, so I guess that's why it might be a big hit. Okay, I finished the first part of the game. I've actually decided to include myself as a playable character, the leader of the Rebellion. There will be three trilogies in the game, and I just finished the first one. In this first trilogy, I'm imprisoned by the censors, and I ordered various animated characters to rebel against them so that free-thinking America would be able to watch animation in its original, uncensored version. In Episode 1, Ren, Stippy, and Rocco go up against Nickelodeon, which refused to release the uncensored versions of the Ren and Stippy show and Rocker's Modern Life on home media. In Episode 2, the Magical Girl team from Smile Precure go up against Saban Entertainment, and let me tell you, the real version of Smile Precure, the Japanese version, is unlikely to be released on home media at this rate. Finally, in Episode 3, I attempt to escape from the death camp where I was imprisoned. Anyway, let's start working on the second trilogy in the game. Wow, I didn't think what's going even knew how to make a video game. Maybe you gain knowledge upon becoming a Powerpuff. Oh, that's right, Powerpuffs gain knowledge of anything related to technology. I can hardly wait to play the game once it comes out. I'm sure many other people in Animation Land are excited about the game as well. I bet it's going to be a smash hit throughout all of America. Here's hoping the wait isn't too long. Okay, I finished the second trilogy of my video game. In it, a plot to create an army of undead soldiers is discovered, and the animated characters and I have to stop it. In Episode 4, Tom, Jerry, and various Looney Tunes characters go up against Water Brothers, who refuse to release the uncensored versions of a few Tom and Jerry cartoons, as well as the censored 11 on home media. In Episode 5, Mickey and friends go up against Disney, who completely refuse to release the uncensored versions of some of their old movies, like Fantasia and Melody Time, and even Song of the South on home media. Finally, in Episode 6, I try to stop the army of undead soldiers, as well as assassinate the mastermind behind this scheme. Alright, only one trilogy left to work on, and then we move on to testing. Wow, Quentin must be smarter than the average human to be creating a video game all by himself! Well, Pop-Up's gained superior knowledge on every technology-related subject possible. I can hardly wait to play it when it comes out. Now that my family and I are getting used to technology, I think I might want to see how the game holds out. Alright, the third and final trilogy is complete. In this trilogy, the animated characters and I finally put a stop to the censor's dirty work and restore democracy to America. In Episode 7, some Dr. Slump and Dragon Ball characters go up against Viz Media, who refuse to release the uncensored versions of the manga they license. In Episode 8, various Pokemon, Sonic, and Kirby characters go up against 4Kids Entertainment, and I tell you, there are some anime that they used to have a license for that are still prevented from being released uncensored. 
Finally, in the ninth and final episode, every previous playable animated character and I attempt to assassinate the person behind all this. Alright, now comes the fun part, testing out the game to see if there are any glitches that affect the gameplay. Let's do this! Wow, Quidditch finished this game already. He seems to be testing it out at the moment. Maybe he'll release it once he finishes testing. I'm sure going to miss Quentin. I'm going to miss the photo cookies in the main six, too. I think we're all going to miss Animation Man, Peggy. We shared a lot of memories with our allies. I cannot wait to be back in Japan. I've heard Quentin resurrected all our fallen comrades that were killed by the Black Crusaders. Okay, the game is exactly as I envisioned it, and I just released it on Steam. It's compatible with Windows and Mac. I call this game Animation Fights Back. Oh, I just realized the Dark Kingdom still needs to be annihilated. I better prepare for the final battle with Queen Beryl. Anyway, thanks for coming to hang out. Prepare yourself for the final battle with the Dark Kingdom, okay? Alright, see you later. This episode was an original story created entirely for this show. Written by Quentin Cole, copyright 2019. is a production of Quince Aquato Entertainment. This is NET, the public television network.